We are here today with head coach Mike Brandt for the Minot State women's basketball team. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good, glad to be here. Uh, talk about the upcoming season. You guys tip off this weekend at, over in Colorado, playing Southwest, uh, Southeast Oklahoma State in para games. How how excited are you to get the season started? Well, this time of year is always super exciting. You know to. You have all that fall conditioning and workouts, and then you have the early practices, and you have a couple scrimmages in there, but it's going to be so nice to square up with officials and opposing game and the game uniforms and, and really getting after it. And it's really important, you know, to get started and to establish, you know, who your starters are going to be, what the pecking order of play is going to be. And, you know, some people may look really good in practice, but then they get in the game situation, they may not look as good and vice versa. You know, they may be struggling in practice, but all of a sudden the game situation comes through and they really come through. So... I think that's a fun part of the year, and I think it's fun for the players, obviously, to get playing there. So we're excited to get going and tip it off, and we got two tough games over the weekend, and it's on a neutral floor, so we love to go in there and hopefully get two wins. You guys have been going for almost a month officially uh, since uh, the October 15th start of practice. So what have you seen from uh, returners that you've liked so far, and who do you think will be key among that group of returners? All right. Well, I think, you know, you always rely on your returners a lot, you know, and hopefully they come back eager and ready to go. But uh, at the top of the list got to be Kate Hedge. You know, she's a player to watch for us this year uh, from the conference. And, um, you know, that's something about her is that you just she doesn't take a day off. You know, she's so consistent on her work ethic and coachability. And if you tell her something, you know, she's going to do it. And if you, you you're emphasizing something with the team, she's going to back that up and emphasize it along with the coaching staff. And so it's just like having another coach on the floor for the players. And, and she does it in a very positive way too. You know, she doesn't really just scream and get after them. You know, she just matter of factly says, you know, get to the high post, get to the high post, you know, for instance. Uh, but she's going to be the top four list. I think she's by far playing her best basketball uh, that I've ever seen, you know, compared to last year. And I think the confidence factor is really uh, in her, and she's really going to be have a great year and uh, going to lead us. And then uh, I think Tash is doing a great job. She's um, really improved a lot. Uh, she, you know, she comes hard and works hard also. Uh, she's kind of playing a little bit different role this year. She's uh, posting up a little bit along with shooting the three outside and driving. And so I think that's going to help her, and I think that's going to help us. I think the matchup problem for other teams uh, could be a, a situation where they, you know, they put a small guard on or a guard or outside or do they put a bigger player on or a guard or inside and then, you know, hopefully we can do the opposite and, and take advantage of that situation. But I think those two have really done an outstanding job for us for the, being the returners. Uh, obviously, this team is about 50-50 uh, returners and newcomers. So you have to have some of the uh, the kids coming in step up and have good seasons. Have you identified uh, in the time that you've had with them people that could be those impact players this season? Well, I think um, not necessarily that we've identified, but I think they've identified who they are. You know, they've shown and they've proven in practices and the scrimmages who our top players could possibly be. And as I said earlier, it may be different in a game situation, but you're awful anxious to get that going and see. Um, but from a competitive standpoint, I've been very pleased with uh, virtually all the newcomers. I think they're going to blend in well with the returners. And uh, as you said, it's kind of an equal number there. And these are players that we recruited and players that we have relationships with prior to coming here, which I think is very important, too, in establishing a program. Um, and the players that we have back, of course, you know, we had a year with them. And so that's exciting, too, and they know our expectations. So I think the the gel has, has really gone well, uh, how they gel together. Uh, but I think, you know, Vilborg at the point guard position, she's a great competitor. Had a lot of uh, European experience, you know, playing in the summertime against different countries. And I think that's a big, huge advantage for her. Uh, I think she'll come in there and really do a great job for us. And then um, the other freshmen that we have, you know, obviously you got to look at somebody who's going to play on the inside. And Emily, you know, being 6'4", she fills the void there. And, and she knows because she's 6'4", that doesn't mean it's a lock that she's going to start or get an abundance of playing time. You know, we made it clear that we're going to try to put our five best players out there, and, and we may consider, you know, matchups too. But she's done an excellent job, and I've been extremely impressed with the amount of improvement that she's had from the beginning to the end. And, you know, virtually every day she just improves, and she just, you know, raises your eyebrow a little bit thinking, wow. Uh, every once in a while, you know, it's a struggle. And, 
And I explained to the team, and especially the newcomers, that you just can't improve steadily like that. You know, it's going to be here, and there's going to be some days where you get knocked down or maybe a couple games, and, and then you climb back up. But it's, it's how you react to that adversity and how you come out of that uh, that makes you a better player. And so they know that they're not going to just make a, a smooth rise up to the top, and it may be a couple of games even if, if they struggle. But knowing that if they work hard and fight hard and keep competing, that, that they're going to come back up on top. Talk about uh, the season opener uh, uh, over in Colorado. What do you know about uh, Oklahoma, and what do you expect from the team uh, the first couple of days? All right. Well, they were picked sixth in their conference. Um, I've seen a little bit of film on them. Uh, I know that that's a pretty good conference down there. I know that they'll come prepared, and obviously it's the first game too, and so you got two teams coming in there that want to start their season off 1-0 and or 2-0. and uh, one and one at the worst, and so it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a fight. I think they're well coached. I think they do a good job. Uh, it seems like they've run quite a bit of zone last year. We're going to see what happens this year, and uh, every team's different. You don't know, you know, from one year to the other. There's going to be some similarities, but also could be some differences with an influx of new players. But I think they'll be very competitive, and it's kind of a special trip for me because this is where I'm from, Sterling, Colorado. Uh, played there. As a player at Northeastern Junior College, I coached there for 13 years. You know, I know a lot of people there, families there. So I think it's fun to be able to go back there and uh, and play a couple of games on the home court. And I think it'll be just exciting for our players to, to tee it up and get going. And so we're excited to come out of there, and hopefully we'll come out 2-0. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you for your time. Good luck this weekend. And I want to remind fans why uh, the team isn't at home this weekend. Uh, later this month, home debut will be on uh, November 29th. Ladies uh, here at the MSU Dome, come on out and support your beavers. All right. Thank you very much.